In the last lecture, we've learned that not all wireless cards are good for hacking, or even though the card supports monitor mode and packet injection, it cannot be used on Linux that runs in a VM. In this lecture, we'll talk about how to choose the right external USB card and then how to connect that card to Kali in a VM. Wireless cards supporting monitor mode and packet injection permit an ethical or black hat hacker to listen on other Wi-Fi conversations or even inject malicious packets into a network. Most external wireless cards aren't good at doing anything other than what's required to establish a basic Wi-Fi connection. Before buying an external Wi-Fi card that costs between 15 and 50 US dollars, you have to check if the chipset inside the card is good and if the right Linux drivers are available. If you are in doubts, my advice is to buy the card from a store that accepts returns if that's possible. Note that the brand is different from the chipset. You normally buy a brand like TP-Link, Netgear or Asus and you don't know about the chipset inside it. The most important is the chipset and the drivers for that chipset, not the brand. To make things easier for you, I've created a list with chipsets that are known to support packet injection and mode monitoring. I won't talk about each of them, but only about Athera's AR9271, which is a well-known and supported chipset. The Alpha USB adapter is one of the favorites in the hacking community. It's fast, long range, well supported and stable. Or a cheaper adapter that uses this chipset is TP-Link. However, check that it uses the Ateros chipset and not another one. Other considerations in selecting an external Wi-Fi adapter aside from the chipset is the frequency on which the adapter operates. While most Wi-Fi devices, including IoT devices, operate on the 2.5 GHz band, many newer devices also offer 5 GHz networks. If 5 GHz is important to you, there are many 5 GHz Wi-Fi cards that support monitor mode and packet injection. An example is Panda Wireless PAU09. This is a very good card that works both with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. As a conclusion, before buying an external USB Wi-Fi card, some research is needed. In the next lecture, I'll show you how to connect the external Wi-Fi adapter to Kali Linux in a VM.